1967, Harvey Fagan designed this house for Dr. Raynham and his wife and their growing family. He, um, in those days, had a piece of equipment called the theodolite. And the theodolite is something that land surveyors use to measure uh, heights of things, edges of things, contours, and all. Basically, an understanding of the land, the topography. And he used the theodolite to plot the edge of the mountain. So he did a drawing of the entire mountain, which is in his office somewhere, which shows all of the peaks and exactly their height above the ground, so that when he designed the entrance, it focuses on Devil's Peak. So that is one of the reasons the house is twisted, but also not one of the reasons that the, the, the roof is tilted upwards. The roof is at its highest as you get to the living room space. Uh, the other important thing is the roof, which you can see is made of copper, and he refers to it as an honest roof. Now what he means by that is whatever it's doing on the inside, it's doing on the outside. So there's no hidden ceiling, or no ceiling hiding structure. What you see on the outside is the form of the roof on the inside. And it does that to, well, once again, allow the views up to the mountain, to allow light in above the dining room there, so in the morning you get the eastern light in. And then it molds its way down. So there's a scale difference between what is the living area, which is focused on the chimney, and then as you move down to the bedrooms, it becomes lower and lower and more intimate. But he does this because he likes his buildings to be rooted in place. He wants it to be rooted in their context. When all of a sudden hit the ground at 90 degrees, it starts curving its way into the ground. So here he grounds the house by the garage and then he grounds it in its context by pointing up at the mountain. Then they come of an era, you know, where things were rethought. So he contextualizes through the things that I'm talking about now, how it touches the ground and how it reaches, meets the mountain. But he also does it in terms of uh, materiality, this white-walled architecture, which is very much of the Cape. <laughs> 